Well, let us talk about binding directions. So all triggers and bindings have a direction property in the function JSON file. The direction of the triggers is always in, and the input output bindings either is in, end, or out. And some bindings support a special direction called in out, uh, which is a little bit confusing, but it's nice to have a extra option. So the idea is we have a, a direction and triggers again are always in, and then you have in, out, and in and out. Um, the trigger is defined alongside the input and output bindings. So trigger will have the same as the input type, but with trigger appended. So for example, if we have blob, that would be our input binding, then we'd have blob trigger as the trigger. And that's how you would know the difference, right? So again, just iterating, see where it says uh, a type here. If it was just HTTP, then it would just be a, um, a, a binding. But if it's an HTTP trigger, then it's a trigger with, a, with also an in binding. Uh, if you use the in and out, uh, only the advanced editor is available via the integrate tab in the portal, just so you know, because there's a visualization of integrations that we see in the Azure portal. And so they're talking about that in and out option there, okay?